We were in repertory, um, rehearsing, and this friend of mine was also from the theater then, Raymond Lauchenko asked me if I could do one of the songs in the soundtrack, Hot Shots. And uh, he said, no problem because it's going to come out in the dream sequence of the movie. So no need to promote, they just needed a, a vocalist, a female vocalist. Okay, I said yes. And so they gave me the study tape, cassette tape at 11 a.m. They sent it to the house in Shaw. And then I was inside the studio at one o'clock. And then I did my bit. It was arranged by Homer Flores. And then after that, after one take, they sent me home. That was it. Growing up, I would hear this song because um, everyone knew my mom for it. So I would always run into people who would be like, Oh, you're Iwi's daughter. Can you sing her song? You know, and so I grew up around it. And, and um, as I grew older, I realized how much more it meant to me than just a song because my mom pretty much raised me as a single mom and this was the last big project she recorded before leaving her musical life um, aside for a while to raise me. I was a working student. I was taking pre-law and I was also doing um, uh, plays with repertory and some bar stints in Intercon and Mandarin. I was singing and working and studying at the same time. I just thought it would be nice to revive it and do a different version. And it was intended to be a Mother's Day gift for her again. But um, we went through quite a challenging process getting it done. So we're getting to it now. But um, I thought it was just as meaningful. I'd like to tribute my mom through this version and also tribute the amazing songwriter behind it, Ms. Cecil Lazarcon, the musical minds behind it, Homer Flores, who played on the original track. The one in 1984 was really um, the peak of, of the novelty of synthesized the sound of synthesizers. So you had the genius work, I mean, you had the work of, uh, of Homer Flores. Uh, this arrangement was magical. Until today, they still play it in, in, on the radio, right? So that's very different from what um, Nicole is doing now for this one. I found out that Homer Flores was the original arranger of this song. And so it was only right that we call him to kind of be a part of today's version. And it's funny how small the Philippine music industry is as well, because my bandmate, um, when I play gigs, Nico Rivera, is kind of like a son figure musically to Homer Flores. It's, it's a mentor-mentee type thing in terms of playing, arranging. They're really like father-son. So I thought it might be a good idea. I mean, we have an actual mother-daughter, and then we have a musical father-son. So to have that group in this song just makes it more meaningful for me.